Hey there everyone, it's Vincent Mbata here back with another video tutorial and today we are talking about how to buy Bitcoin with cash. So before I begin, um, this is basically a post uh, on my website, right? It's one of the posts uh, on my website. So um, basically going to give you like a, a summary really of the post and if you uh, if you prefer, you know, reading as well instead of watching or you just prefer to also consume, um, you know, through reading, that's also, that's fantastic. I'll leave the link to my website, to this post uh, in the description section below. Okay, so you can also uh, get, us, get access to the website and then go through it and read it if this is what you you prefer so let's go ahead and dive in now so how do how do you actually buy bitcoin with cash um there's several exchanges uh, there's several um options and we'll talk about that okay uh but what i want to point out too is there's also there's benefits to buying bitcoin with cash i mean uh one of the main benefits is privacy you know if you purchase bitcoin with cash then you don't have to provide your your private details i mean uh, i don't know about you but i i'm also not not entirely comfortable with with my i my identification being all over my id copy and proof of residence etc you know it's um it's it's really not a it's not ideal okay because uh, that's what that's what exchanges require and that's what these um, platforms require when you you actually um, need uh, bitcoin right or any crypto for that matter uh, so if you're buying it with cash you don't have to do that okay you don't have to provide your, uh, these details so it, it's it's a major advantage and especially if you're very very um like privacy uh conscious then it's it's one of the main benefits and the second one is speed really because it takes time uh some exchanges i mean take up to three days you know to verify your identity so i mean can you imagine where maybe you you got a signal uh from somewhere from someone uh you know uh, like a good entry point into say buying bitcoin right and now you still have to go through verification and whilst the exchange still verifies you uh bitcoin picks up you know it goes up in value and what do you know by the time you are fully verified the the you know the price has already gone up <laughs> you know like can you imagine that situation like it 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 takes time and uh you know obviously some exchanges are quicker than others but generally it, it takes one to three business days so that's another advantage of buying bitcoin with cash uh, it's you know you you bypass all that uh the red tape you know so now what are the options now for buying bitcoin with cash like i said there's several so one of them is you can use peer-to-peer -peer trading okay that's what p2p stands for uh, this is basically it's a great option if you want to receive your Bitcoin quickly uh, and they're also an awesome option uh, in countries where you know there's heavy heavy censorship uh, for instance when China banned crypto exchanges in, in 2017 uh, we actually saw a huge amount of volume uh, flooding into the P2P platforms because obviously you can't stop Bitcoin okay obviously they they tried and um, they really you know uh they tried uh stopping exchanges from from you know trading but people still found a way and peer-to-peer -peer trading was one of the main ways people did it and um most the the two most popular platforms really is paxful and local bitcoins i mean even i personally when i started out in crypto i used local bitcoins i mean i i found it very easy to navigate as well uh what i'll do is i will like on a separate video i'll show you how to buy bitcoin on local local bitcoins uh it's it's fairly easy and you can see all of these they by default they'll you they'll show you a your country currency it will be your you know the people in your location by default okay and then obviously as you can see these are different currencies etc and um 
and then you can basically just uh, select the country you lo you you located in and wherever you stay and i'll like i said i'll do like a proper uh, orientation or tutorial in the near future just showing you how to go ahead and buy bitcoin uh, in uh, local bitcoins and then the other one too is paxful paxful is also very popular uh fairly well uh it's 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 newer compared to local bitcoins local bitcoins has been around for a very long time but paxful also came into the scene and they're very they're doing a very great job and it's very efficient as well and um this is something you can also consider okay so look there's like over 300 ways to buy and sell Bitcoin. So uh, look, it's it's really, it contains a vast array of, of um, you know, ways to really uh, obtain Bitcoin. So there's another way to, 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 you know, buy Bitcoin, right? If you use like escrowed in-person purchases, you can also do that, you know, you meet up with a person, uh, and you you basically exchange so one of the popular escrow platforms to do that is again paxful and mycelium local trader okay so it's it's really it's it's awesome i'm going to show you the mycelium local trader and you can sort of see how the platform looks like and what i like about this is they tell you they sort of give you step by step you know uh i can also leave these links uh in the description of this video just so you can uh, easily get access to them like here they're telling you how to get your first bitcoins with local trader you'd have to download the app uh, you know from the play store or from the mycelium uh, the website and then these are basically instructions on how you should go about like making your first trade or buying um, buying Bitcoin from Mycelium, uh, you know, the local trader, okay? So these are all the steps. And also, if you want to sell your coins, how to go about and do that, okay? There's like very, it's it's very detailed steps here, which I'd also like to, in the future, just uh, go ahead and show you guys how to, how to do that. Um, you know, just go through the steps with you, basically. So this is something that is very interesting from mycelium this is the this is the website basically okay this is a complete website and you can see it's very professional and it's 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 very reliable as well so this here is just a it's just a page um you know by uh like on the website basically just showing you instructions on how to go about and do that so this is again this is the second one okay it's the escrowed in-person purchases this is the second way uh, to buy a btc with cash uh, like again uh, using paxful again this is one of the popular options for in-person purchases again to use the platform you just need to enter your location and enter the amount you want to purchase when picking the payment method you select cash and if there's someone available in your location, a list will appear. You pick a seller with a good uh, positive rating and good reviews. Then you can choose a location for the purchase you, uh, via messaging. You must. Oh, this is very important. Whenever you you purchase something, or whenever you purchase like whichever coin, not just Bitcoin, okay, whichever coin you want to purchase, make sure that the person you're purchasing from has good reviews and has. Uh, has positive ratings because you don't want to buy from somebody that has a very poor service or uh, somebody that really has bad reviews because guess what you might just lose your your money right so you just want you want to make sure that at least you increasing your chances of <clears throat> getting a good deal and a good experience and the next one like we like we said mycelium i showed you uh mycelium as well like how you can you can do that and again here when making an in-person purchase ensure that you choose an open and secure location very important some good options would be local courthouse the bank lobby or even the police station lobby so you just have to ensure the location has cameras metal detectors access control 
and um, guards weren't trading a huge amount. So just like make sure that it's a public place and it's, it's safe because at the end of the day, your safety matters. Remember, this is, it's like, it's in person. So, uh, you know, anything can happen. So you want to make sure that you are in a public place uh, with cameras, etc. cetera. So, uh, and of course, one of the most, uh, the growing, you know, uh, sort of popularity here is Bitcoins, uh, Bitcoin ATMs. There's lots of ATMs now globally. You know, they grow in popularity. So if you are lucky, there might be one in your city. So a quick search on the internet should help you find one, really. Just like checking on, on, on Google, then uh, you'll find that maybe you're lucky and there is, there is an ATM nearby. So when using the ATM, though, is um, you must remember to take along your BTC address. Uh, obviously remember you're buying bitcoin so they're gonna ask you for your bitcoin address so you can just take that or use your hardware wallet uh, and obviously like a regular atm you must like pick one that is in a safe location and be aware of suspicious characters as well uh, that uh you know like sc scoping you out or just uh you know anyone that seems suspicious so you must just be aware of that uh, generally, this is what you would also do when you, you know, at any ATM when you want to withdraw cash. You must just, you know, just take the general safety measures and just, you know, to ensure your safety at the end of the day. But um, what I love about Bitcoin ATMs now, you know, in the beginning when this technology first came out, you could only, it was just one way. You could only like buy Bitcoin, you know, uh, and in certain instances, some you could like sell, but mainly it was, you could just buy Bitcoin. But now it's dual. You can buy and sell uh, Bitcoin. Uh, most ATMs have that capability where you can do both. Not only buy, but you can also sell it. So obviously if you need to buy, you would have to have the address where they're gonna send the, the Bitcoin to, okay? So this is basically, this is basically a, way you know like basically some of the easiest ways to buy bitcoin with cash uh, however one of the most highly recommended is a bitcoin atm why uh, because there's no fraud um, really there's no risk of fraud there and, and these atms are usually located in large open spaces anyway so they are you know mainly you find them like in malls or like um in in, in popular uh, places or in in yeah places that are well uh, populated so uh this is this is basically uh that when it comes to where and uh and basically how to buy bitcoin with cash uh it's you know a few very effective ways that you can do that like again like i said you know the bitcoin atm i mean is it's it's the best in terms of uh you know uh getting your your btc quickly and without having to you know be in contact with anyone or giving out your info etc so so that is that so um what other p2p sites or peer-to-peer -peer sites that you can think of and uh you know let me know in the comment section below why what 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 else are you using uh that's also safe and that's also that also allows you to buy bitcoin with cash i'd really like to hear your opinions below and what 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 else is working out there as far as obtaining bitcoin quickly without necessarily risking your um, or giving away your your details etc so that's basically it for for this video and um if you found it useful and informative do go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel because i release these tutorials every now and then and you also want to hit the notification uh, bell the the button so that you don't miss any of the content that i put out uh, they'll send you a notification whenever there's a video out okay so you don't miss out on that so that's it for this video guys hope you found it useful and informative see you again in the next one take care bye